All right, good afternoon. It's Friday, everybody. It's Friday. I'm sure a lot of people are thankful and grateful for that and appreciative of the weekend coming. Labor Day weekend, long weekend. Hot out here, weather's starting to change. It's a little brisk in the mornings, and uh, by the afternoon, it's hotter than hell again. It's been a bad growing season for me. I haven't, didn't do so well this year, man. Things didn't work out. Planted more, but uh, harvest is a lot lighter, you know. Uh, tomatoes, plenty, plenty of tomatoes. Gourds, not as many as last year, any of the gourds. Pumpkins really took a big hit. Now, it is what it is. My romaine lettuce, you know. I guess it's been the heat. I don't know. I've been watering everything, you know, trying to compensate for it. And it just isn't helping, man. It just isn't helping. Whatever is going on, you know, how much UV radiation gets through or whatever, uh, the plants just haven't been digging it here this year. Last year was, man, a cornucopia of homegrown fresh food to eat. This year, not so much. Anyhow, so where the hell have I been? Well, you know, I had to have this surgery. I uh, had this tendon that was torn, it was an accident at work, kind of chopped it in half from an impact. Uh, just a freak accident, just a freak accident. Something you would never imagine could even happen the way it had happened. And it cut this tendon completely in half in my wrist, you know, between my wrist and my uh, inner elbow. And uh, I had to have it reattached, of course. So, got it reattached. It's been over six weeks, it's been like seven weeks or so now. And uh, you know, it's coming along, hell of a scar. It's like some Frankenstein thing, but I don't mind that. And then it's got this other problem where I've got this nodule. It's like a, bigger than a BB, it's like small ball bearing. And it's protruding, pushing up through the skin. And that's where it was joined together, part of it. And so when I move my wrist like this, it, uh, that nodule pushes up, trying to press up against it through the skin almost and travels up and down along the scar. So something may have to be done with that. The surgeon looking at it, he said he's never seen one tear completely come completely through the skin, but this one's a, a good candidate if that would happen. And if, if it does present an issue, then he's gonna have to go in there and uh, grind that down or whatever, shave it down. So he's probably still gonna have to do that yet. Anyway, uh, I can work it a little bit now haven't been able to work out, so I have not been eating a lot of food, which typically I do still keep the calories up. And then I just uh, do a recomp afterwards, you know, because I, I've long uh, enjoyed the practice when I've been injured. I had a slap tear here you know, years ago. I couldn't train for seven months. And I, I kept my size, I kept my size because I kept, I kept eating up. I kept eating up and I just let my body composition do what it was going to do, you know? And it, you know, of course I atrophied and uh, I gained some fat, but I still kept that mass, that, that density, that, that load on my, you know, skeletal structure. And in doing that, it's a lot easier if my weight doesn't fluctuate a lot, even though my body composition may change quite a bit, it's a lot easier for me to do a recomp. Yeah, I've always found. Anyway, I didn't do that this time because I just figured, you know, my goal initially was to get, you know, really, really lean this year. And I had a really good start, but I got a little carried away as always and got a little too uh, beefy there. Like this past winter, December and January, I was pretty, I was getting pretty, pretty big, too big for my age, actually, I believe. But this threw a curveball into my life, so opportunity for me to uh, back off of it again and, and you know not training so I'm not eating so I've been doing a lot of cardio I've been doing quite a bit of cardio this is probably the trimmest I've been in I don't know over a decade for sure you know so I don't mind it, it is what it is um, you know as I can begin to work out again I can't uh, do a lot but I can do lower body I can do some other things you know, I'm still going to do that. And uh, uh, other things in the mix. What else is going on? Pre-workout. Yep, pre-workout. A lot of people have asked about that. And I'm the hold up on it. I put the brakes on it. It would already be a done deal and already be available. But um, 
I'm not one of these guys, you know, I'm not much of a YouTuber to begin with. You see how, you know, I take such long breaks sometimes. And that's because when I don't feel I have anything to contribute or anything worth making a video about, I just don't. You know, I apologize for that, but I just don't. Rather than just pull a video out of my ass every single day after day after day, you know, uh, it's it's not, it's not really, it truly isn't really much of a concern to me about um, what the algorithm does with me or, um, you know, the views I get or don't get or miss out on or, you know, the monetary aspect of it, it's nickels and dimes anyway, you know. So, I just figured I would make some kind of a video now just to catch up a little bit. So the pre-workout thing, I put the brakes on that and put it to a halt because uh, I'm not going to be a guy that, that can't lead by example. I'm not going to introduce what I think is an awesome pre-workout. I've got the formula together and everything now. I'm not going to come out and roll that out now when I'm not even able to you know back it up with training with these massive pumps and all and, and promote it properly you know demonstrate it I'm all about the demonstration it's all about what you can do you know not always about what you can explain because a lot of people can explain things that they think you know their perception is their reality but there's a real reality you know what I mean it's different reality and perception are different but to most people, their perception is reality. And that's not always true, you know. Um, you know, I've always said, for instance, you could climb up on top of that barn over there and tell me you're gonna fly like a bird. You flap your arms so hard, you figured it all out on paper, you're gonna be able to do it and you're gonna fly and you're gonna land very gently. But the reality is if you climb up on top of that barn over there and jump off, you're, you're gonna get a rude awakening when you hit the ground. You're not gonna fly like that, you know, just by flapping your arms. So there's reality and then there's perception. Anyway, let's not get started. It's a deep, deep well to go down. So that's what's up. I haven't been able to ride. I'm just now at the point where I might be able to ride some. I can still squeeze a clutch, but I'm not supposed to ride. And I certainly don't want to detach it. I want it to give every opportunity. You know, I told him it needs to be able to perform. So I don't care about aesthetics. It has to be strong. The repair has to be strong. I don't care what you got to do, you know. And I think that's that's the angle he took, and that's probably why it looks like it looks, but oh well. Anyway, that's about all I got right now. There's not a lot else going on. There ain't shit else going on, man. I'm just, uh, right now, my smoker's beeping. I got to go check the temperature. I'm smoking, and, uh, and, uh, and smoking, and, uh, you know, C-notes. Drew Estates, and working on a bike, yeah, you know, life hands you lemons, make lemonade, I can't ride, which blows, um, my favorite riding time is in October anyway, what I can do is to use the opportunity to downtime to continually upgrade the motorcycle, like what else can I do to it, well there's still other things that can be done, little details, details, fine improvements, so that's what I've been doing, doing that, Playing more music, you know, doing some writing. Like I said, just a lot of cardio and a lot of uh, cardiovascular conditioning type of stuff and just leaning down. So that's it for me for now. I'm gonna check my smoker before I ruin a good dinner and uh, fire this up and just enjoy some of the sunshine. Yes, take care. Hope you had an awesome week. Have a great weekend and Labor Day.